get back on track right here and see what I'm going to be showing you guys here. Stay tuned. Live from the command center, JW Solar USA. This is what I have for you guys. Sorry for the light. It's kind of glaring, putting a kind of a Star Wars light into this thing. This is what I have. See, that's the name right there. See that? So this one runs, uh, that's the model number, 80901-107. The power supply is 115, 60 hertz. North America power. If you using this kind of power, well, you're on the right track. Say, folks, um, uh, this ice maker can take up to 1.5 amps. The ice maker current it takes, and when it's like um, harvesting the ice, is two amps. So it's using a refrigerant of a one R one three four A, just like the one you use for your Freon in your car. That's the same one, and it's designed the pressure high max up to two hundred and ninety psig. So if you guys know more about uh, refrigeration and air conditioning and heat pump, this makes complete sense to you. So folks, this is the thing right here. It's made in China. Well. This is a device here. I'm going to go round, giving you like a 360 view. And this I already had. So um, I decided to make a video because I have so much projects with me all the time. So I just have to make sure, you know, come up with you guys. You just build like a refrigerator. Okay. So it's an ice maker. The ice. Um, this is the reservoir. You pour the water right there. If you see, I have a little device here that's the return it takes the water like a water pump so the pump like a bleacher and a boat takes the water and send it all the way up here and fill up that tank in there and after the water is full and this thing right here is like a scoop like a tray is gonna rotate and keeps the water up there while this tubing you see right there is um i think we have nine of them four in the back four uh, five at the front so that's where the water gets in this thing getting um, really uh, frozen high temp um, high temperature low temperature sorry on cold and this you see all uh, this metal is gonna be like frozen instead of being icy so from there and the water cut trying to catch into this tubing here okay and that's freezes the water you design depends to what ice you want to make at the front here you will see uh, like i said sorry for the light you see it tells you what kind of ice you want to make okay this star was light <laughs> so you see here is an indicator that tells you uh you need to add water if the water is low it indicates right there and if the ice bean is full it's going to tell you and you have to select which ice you want to make. It's a large or small ice. These are power on and off. So um, let's don't talk too much. I want to get you here and see a process how this thing is designing the ice and making it. After that, the ice already formed. This tray is going to drop just like this. And the ice, I don't know if this thing is applying like a little bit heat. And this thing's, um, the ice just going to slide off these tubings here and dropped drop in and this little scoop scooper or whatever i call it a scoop a tray or a shovel you just like shovel the um the cubes and drop them in here in the on the basket i will show you the basket there goes the basket this is where the ice gonna be stored in this ice basket just like you have your uh refri refrigerator freezer in your house your kitchen refrigerator that's how you do the ice maker. Scoop the thing and try dropping them here. The water is going to return. It's going to pump the water all the way up back here and fill it up. And after that, the water is going to drop and come back here to the reservoir and store it. And by doing that, there's a cycling thing. Uh, the water comes up here. It gets all the way. Condensation happen, and, you know, so it's getting really cold. Pre-cold the water. It's not like preheat. It's just pre-cold the water. And from there, 
and it's gonna drop the water back to the reservoir here since this one is already insulated like a freezer or refrigerator then the water maintains its temperature it stay cool so anytime it reverse back goes back up there it's already uh, pre pre cold and the process takes you know it, the process goes faster instead of being slower this machine can make 26 pounds of ice all right so this device here you guys see um, is a compact portable and convenient attractive brushless or brushed stainless steel finish look great on any countertop it gives you the option to make a large and small ice cubes ideal for party camping um, and it's good for everyday use this is a portable ice maker is com is convenient for rv boats home bars dorms and rooms and more so it, this thing can make a lot of stuff that it, it, it makes a large ice and small ice and this thing can make cubes in minutes and it can produce it can produce 26 pound of ice a day can you imagine that the upscale brush stainless steel finish looks great on any countertop okay any countertop so it, 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 this is just a awesome awesome machine the ice maker comes with a handy ice scoop they know the handy ice scoop is right there and um it is good for little parties it's good for uh if you are um a semi driver you're on the road like in a party and you're a person that you you know like to be uh, this i call this an off grid too if you can have a portable generator you can able to power this thing and make ice so fast for your drinks if you live in a tropical or very hot climate and you can take this to do everything it's easy to use is you no know? it, it makes it a, a two ice cubes size you know then nine ice cubes per cycle Anytime it, uh, it, it dispenses the uh, ice cubes, it's nine of them is going to bring. Electricity power, no battery required, holds about 1.5 pounds of ice. It produces about 26 pounds of ice per day. Awesome, awesome, awesome machine. Right? It's very, very, very awesome machine. And the display indicator indicates when the ice bin is full, you know, and it just keep filling up the water into the stuff and just keep take this one little basket out you know and do your thing you see the ice are very 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 cute you know it has a one year warranty you know and uh measures up to about 9.52 inches um long and uh the dimension is a 14.1 dimension and the height of it is a 12.9 you know, comes with a one-year warranty. It's not too expensive. You can find them on your uh, little places there on the website. And um, maybe Sam's Club carry that. I suppose Walmart will have this if you're curious. And uh, check in on your uh, sporting good places. And uh, you, you, you get all the good stuff. I have the uh, PDF, how to maintain this, how to clean this stuff. And how to, if you're done with it, how you go about Processing this, processing this stuff. So I'll take your tour back here and see. And uh, now this thing goes. It has a big fan right here. I suppose it's gonna be. I don't know how many inches is that. Approximately uh, about four and a half to five inches here. See that? And um, there's a. You see like a kind of little fin, like a radiator you have in your car or refrigerator or air conditioning, and back here it has a compressor it's just like a regular refrigerator it's inside i think you can see it it's a it's kind of it's kind of um a medium size like those little chest uh um uh refrigerators you know you see the coil there's a the condenser and whatever if that's how you call it and you see all the coiling in there the copper so 
I don't want to be talking too much. Okay, that side right here, you can see the compressor. And let's put this thing into test. And right here, I have my um, extension adapter, which is a very good machine right here. Deal with the different stuff. And um, I'm going to be using a kilowatt meter to um, attach to this. A kilowatt meter. If you don't know what a kilowatt meter is, check out one of my videos on my playlist. You see what a kilowatt meter is and what the functionality of a kilowatt meter. This is going to be using that to measure um, how much electricity this thing is taking for my solar to generate ice for just a short time. Okay. And um, if you find this video really helpful, uh, I would say please subscribe, like, and share to this. And we can plug it to any of these uh, outlets right here. And we can fire up the, uh, the device right from here. So stay tuned while I'm bringing you in here. A quick look again and see how this thing is designed. It's a little cute machine. And if you like my first video, if you haven't seen that with the cooler. And I use that on the road. Check, I think on the road. On that, you know, portable... Um, portable um, devices or my portable gears on my playlist you will see exactly what I'm talking about and I'm so excited to show you these guys uh, it has been a while I, I want to do this but I have so much things and uh, things gonna be wrapping up now getting slower for me and I want to show you guys how everything works here stay tuned and let's plug this thing the cord is right here so I'm gonna be plugging it over there and let's turn the power on and see if there's power coming off from the solar. That's going to be rocking this thing. There we go. It's reading 109 volts coming in. So let's go put it on watt. Okay. Let's put it on watt. It's on watt right now. All right. From there, we're going to be using that to see how many amps it's taking or it's drawing from. Let's go back on what stay tuned oh okay what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna fill up this reservoir with water and after filling it up yeah, I'm gonna turn the machine on and you're gonna see how this scoop thing is gonna be scooping um, flipping that bowl or that container to hold the water there and while it's charging up to get all the water geared up and from there I can do my selection right here to see what kind of ice I want to make. At this um, application or this presentation, we're going to be making uh, large ice, okay? We're making the large ones. That will be cool. All right, stay tuned. But when you put it on a small ice, it doesn't take more electricity. I can I can hear when you plug the thing to a higher uh, large ice, you will see, uh, you will hear the compressor cranking up you know the fan or uh, it, it, rpm kind of tend to go up because it's pushing a lot of freon for this stuff to uh really generate and even that's when you um when you um making the ice you can still pop this uh cover you know you can open it it doesn't stop any of the process so you, you don't have to worry about it so i'm gonna show you pretty soon All right, I'm back again, so I'm gonna take this basket off. And if you can see, there's a line here. I don't know if you can see that because of the, the lights probably glare. Okay, there you go, you see max. So that's where you wanna, um, you want the water to be. So, you know what I'm gonna do on this application or this test? I'm just gonna keep the thing go. I'm not editing the video. I'll just keep on letting it go and till the first ice or second ice dispense and if you were really interested into this you stay tuned and watch how the process go if you're not interested or maybe you're tired of waiting you can fast forward the video and so that you can able to see the next how the thing happened but if you do that you miss the fun you know you just it's the, all about the timing how much time is going to take before the first ice is going to come out okay we want to really time this thing and stay tuned for that well i i filled this one up earlier so i'm just gonna dump another one there look at the line see the max line it's getting there it's getting there perfect 
right on the line. See that? That's where the water is right there. Okay. Here we go. The water is right on, on the brim at the top. So this water is going to be taken from that thing that looks like a filter right there. It's like a sump pump. It's going to be taking that water up to the reservoir up there and store it into this container right here. This container is going to flip, comes all the way up. And that's how it holds the water there. So let's drop this basket right here. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug the, uh, the device back here to show you the power consumption. Remember, um, we're going to be running this on solar. That's why I'm testing this. So I don't want you guys to think everything has to be on the grid. I'm trying to take you guys off the grid. This is what, this is what uh, our plan is. So let's come back here. And uh, see, it's, seen, it's reading at zero, zero watt. Okay, I'm plugging this device right here. Let's see if it's going to draw any power just on standby. Okay, yes, it does. It took about um, 3.7 watt. And we just missed the process right here, what just happened. And uh, it the... Um, the scoop just went all the way back and reset. It's ready for me to push the button. Then the pump is going to send the water all the way up there and fill it up. And that's how the process is going to start. So let's come down here and see the light indicator. Be up with me and make sure. And oh, we're getting there. It's getting the ice is forming right now. Let me take the camera and move closer. I hope I'm not going to mess it up again. And let's see. See the cubes right there? See them? Interesting, right? I don't know. Something. There is something I want to uh, compare them to. You see those cylinders? Like those popsicles. Ah, yeah. Like popsicles. Icicles or popsicles? Popsicles, yeah. See them? Right there. So they're going to dry up and the water is going to drain right here and dispense the ice. So... I want you to see this. It's really cool. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's dispensing. There we go. There we go. Take one. Let it go. <laughs> I told you. This is interesting. You see that? <laughs> we got a forced ice. Look, it's going to scoop them. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> Voila. We got our first ice. <laughs> you see that? It's taking the water again and fill it up. Let me check the uh, watt. Yeah, after dispensing. Oh, let me bring you quick here. Sorry. You see, the watt went up because it's starting a new cycle. So at 100 watt, it's taking a 1.2 amps, 1.29 amps. It runs about 104 watt. 104 watt. So, yep. The fans are running. There's the model number in the MIG. And here is the fan. It's running constantly. And the body temperature on this side is kind of warm. It's kind of warm. It's pulling a lot of air. And back here, it's kind of cool. On the side, the body is all cool. Okay. Let's wait for the second ice. And uh, that's how I'm going to end the video. And I'll let this thing process all night. And gives us a lot of ice cubes. That would be really cute. Okay. see I'll set this one here I'll let it run I'll let it run I'm gonna quit talking I know a lot of people don't like the talk let's just watch what's going on that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave it not say nothing anymore see when he started dispensing then I'm gonna say something stay tuned I don't have no music to play on the background I don't want to be flagged so 
I've been using too much talk in here. I don't want to lose any video. But my cubes are still there. I can see they melting too because of the uh, the lid is open. Getting big. See that? There goes the highest. See? You apply heat and it just fall. The heater kicks in and the scoop is gonna push it. See that? There we go. So this ends the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. It's a long video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Live from the command center, JW Solar USA. Love you guys all. Bye for now. There's the ice right there. Gonna be having a dispense soon. Right there. Subscribe, like, and share. JW Solar USA. Here we go. Apply heat, melt, drop, and reservoir on the basket. There we go. Pretty cool. Scoop it. Voila. Here we go. That's our ice cube right there, folks. Like, subscribe, subscribe, and share. Filling up the water again for the other process, second process. If you find this video helpful, you want to buy this machine, uh, you see the links, just Google the, um, the model number and the make, and you're good to go. Water is pumping all the way from the bottom from the basket and filling up the little container. See, it's a little nipples right there. The water, the ice formed on that thing. And there we go. Thanks for watching. Getting full. Subscribe, like, and share. Uh, if you like the video, it will help someone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Getting full. Yeah. Okay, bring some Coca Cola, Pepsi, Fanta, Vimto, Sprite, um, and all the good stuff, you know. M multi drink or Maltina. These are all for the international because these are the drinks they, 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 they drink over there. You know, I'm talk I'm not talking about alcohol. No. So I don't do alcohol. So this is the thing. I'm just you know, all all the soft drinks, you know, Pepsi, Coca Cola, Fanta, you know, and Maltina and uh which is uh super malt and uh Vimto. So all the stuff, you know. 
So here now in America, you know, I'm going to say, grab me a, a, a can of pop. Here in Minnesota, we call it pop. And somewhere in the East Coast, uh, New Jersey, they call it like soda. You know, it's it kind of weird. Yeah, everybody trying to call stuff. But hey, as long as we're all in the same track, that's all that matters. All right, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. And this is how... We're making ice here with the JW Solo USA. Subscribe. Like and share. As always, we're bringing you more content into this channel. Stay tuned for the next episode. Tomorrow is going to be something new. I want you guys to stay tuned and make sure. Hold tight. Into, you know, just fasten your seat belts. That's what I meant. Fasten your seatbelt because there's a new project coming tomorrow, which I don't want you guys to miss. Stay tuned. I was going to go live stream, but just because of the internet, the way sometimes, and I don't want the pictures being blurry. I, I don't like that. I want my videos to be crispy clear because I'm shooting them at a 4K, and YouTube is uh, um, uh, slicing them to something else, to uh, um, high definition, more maybe 720 and 1080p so and I don't want just kind of crazy videos and um, I want you guys to really see the detail and everything so perfect all right so I'm not gonna live stream that one but it's coming tomorrow sometimes within 2000 hours or this time again tomorrow all right peace bye for now this completes the ice making you see it's all full is uh it has like a sensor can sense that the ice is already full so being say that uh it will never let this one dispense but if i scoop this one all the way back here it would dispense the ice that's already falling from the uh reservoir and bring it to the basket so you see uh, my video I was telling you at first when I started, it says the ice being full. All right. Check this out. So I'm going to scoop the ice all the way back here. The machine is going to kick, kick in again. See, it's dropping. There you go. Clears away. This completes our video.